Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trufin, it's a babbling Belgian, and welcome back to God of War. We're still uh, right next to the, uh, well, dead again, Tamur Frost Giant. So, yeah, the stonemason giant that we uh, we kind of killed. Um, you know what? I'm actually... Ooh. Wait a second. No. Oh, for fuck. You're supposed to die. There we go. Another raven down. Um... There is this large gate here, and I don't know if this just links into the rest, the previous area or not. Hidden Chamber of Odin. Oh yeah, this is the Valkyrie room. Never mind. Never mind. Because this area changed a bit, but yeah, now I remember. So, let's head towards Tyr's Temple so we can finally go to Jotunheim. I hope. I think. Maybe. There's one more story trophy left, if I recall correctly, in the list. So I'm guessing we're almost done with this game now, which I really, really hate to say, because uh, it's been one hell of a ride. This is an amazing game. But uh, I feel like this is not going to end not so mistaken, well. We've yet to discuss the tale of the giant Bergomir. Oh yeah, I remember his run. It looked happier than the other ones, mostly. It begins in an ocean of blood. Finally, a story worth hearing. If you remember, Emir, the first giant, was fatally stabbed by Odin. It's in his blood our story starts. Emir's magical guts poured out in a torrent so violent it threatened to flood all of creation. The Jotnar were unprepared, as the very last of them were washed away in the endless tide. Not just Emir. But all of giant kind faced extinction. And so would Odin's victory have been complete. But the Mir's kind did not all perish that day. Staying afloat in the hollowed husk of a tree, the frost giant Bergomir endured, as did his lady wife. For weeks they sailed, until finally they came upon a new land. They called it Jotunheim. And there they would start anew. As father and mother, they would multiply exceedingly, and as king and queen, they worked to make Jotunheim a land where giants would know no master but themselves. Bergomir never sought revenge for Odin's slaughter. His vengeance was to live and prosper. He died at peace, a legion of his kin to mourn him. He would ever be known as Bergomir the Beloved. Bergomir the Beloved. Huh. I've never heard a story end that way. Not a true one, anyway. If you do, laddie. So, I stopped because I kind of heard the horn in the background there. And I didn't want to interrupt uh, Mimir's story. The, the reason why I think this is starting to go badly is... I mean, I've, I've touched on that in the previous episode. We now brought back the Jotunheim Tower. So what's to stop the Aesir from just using Tyr's temple? Because we know the gods, the Aesir can use the temple, because Baldur did a few episodes ago. So what's to stop them from just using that freshly made tower over there and just heading to Jotunheim themselves? I don't know, but I, I have this really, really bad feeling at the moment. But let's more at the temple and see what happens when we go inside because I think yeah we I probably could have just uh, battled over here with uh, Mimir's story just going probably was uh, the thing to just fill the time but yeah I, I didn't want to risk interrupting that story because it's all those stories are really really nicely done by the way I really really like how they fill in the time between traveling because of course I could edit stuff out but if you're just playing the game then uh, you don't want to have too much downtime, especially during all the travel you can do. Um, so, it doesn't seem like much has changed here. Because I, 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 I feel like something's still gonna happen. It feels like we did one hell of a final boss battle, just, just... Yeah, just now, but... Oh, I keep... Because this, this is still going. Plan. <clears throat> Seriously? Seriously, Mimir? Stop saying that. So, 
Jotunheim. Go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Yeah, sure. Probably. Probably. I love how they, they're laughing with their own storyline. Uh, it's the one on the left there. Jotunheim. The yellow one. I can't move. God damn it. Boy. Head. Oh yeah, we need to put Mimir's head on the on the pedestal. Oh right. There uh, we go. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, oh I haven't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Seriously? Ready? Oh god. Oh, that's unpleasant. Yeah, probably. Now, boy. And point. It looks like it hurts. Mimir, you still alive? We must be close. Of course, yeah, the gods well, didn't have the crystals. What are we for? Think it's far? We will see. Uh This doesn't look so happy. I want please before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. Okay. We had to see this. <laughs> I would leave... Oh, no. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Fine, damn it. Fine! Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. They are building up to Come. something, but... The goal of this journey has always been small. Just, uh... Just get it all the way to the top. The highest mountain in all the realms and scatter phase ashes. Okay. I'm I'm walking this slowly on purpose, by the way. I'm, I'm I just want to drag this out a bit because it has been one hell of a ride. If this is the end, it's been gold. There's of course a lot of unanswered questions and I think I might be, uh, I might do a separate video on everything that's still open if this really is the end of course. But uh, yeah, it's been one hell of a ride. This game is amazing, both graphically, technically, the combat is great, the, the world building is amazing, the conversations in between, just how it feels and how it connects everything together. And of course the story was... Especially for a God of War game, this this story was incredible. They, they've definitely stepped up from uh, from the God of original trilogy and uh, Ascension. Although you started to see more hints of a better story in the, the PSP game games of all of all the games, because uh, yeah, it explored more of, of Kratos' backstory than the original trilogy actually did. But uh, yeah. Light at the end of a giant f kind of floating staircase for some reason, because this doesn't look like the the gates we've seen before for some reason. Okay. Now what's this? Bright lights and probably loading. I hear footsteps, but that's pretty much it. I'm blind. Kind of ruining the moment. Ah. I just step forward a little bit further. Look! We're on the giant's fingers! I can see the highest peak ahead! Right over there! Okay. But what's up with Jotunheim? We did it. If I recall correctly, when we saw it through the portal the first time, the sky was blue. This looked like a lot happier a place than what it looks like now. But this feels final. Kratos is actually 
removing pieces of his armor and removing the blades. I have nothing more to hide. Uh, okay. Can we go now? We're so close. <laughs> and Atreus doesn't understand this, of course, because he never Why? got the full story. The ashes. Oh, he looks so weird now with his arms bare. He looks so fragile, aside from the giant piece of armor on his chest, of course, but... This relationship has grown immensely am along these, I think, 40 hours that I've played this game. That was... that was a great... oh! Well, we kind of lost... wait, what? <laughs> Now we got the gauntlets again and the chains, so why? Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Can we see something? Seems, yeah, mountains. Just very desert looking mountains. Wait a second. We saw this bridge. When we entered the light of Alfheim, we saw this bridge, didn't we? We crossed this bridge at the end of that, uh, hmm. like, foreshadowy bit. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Yeah, that's that's what's been bugging me. This is supposed to be the realm of the giants, where they're still alive. But I don't hear anything. It's eerie, eerie silent in this place. Ooh, gold. Hello? Oh, gold. Anybody here? Gold. Everybody's dead, isn't them? Aren't they? The AC already this, got... this is weird. They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Because it couldn't have been, right? Why would they all be dead? Unless they did just kill everybody in the few, uh, well, minutes between when we got the tower up and we getting here. Because there was a bit of time that passed between, but... Because the whole point of this was that the Aesir couldn't get to Jotunheim and that was why they needed us Odin and Thor ruining everything for everybody okay looks like a lot more text than that but anything no he did write something down yeah there we go Midgard was a dream of what could be if we shared and collaborated Jotnar, Aesir, Vanir, Elf, Dwarf and mortals most of all it was beautiful, but not everyone is capable of sharing. Some believe anything uncontrolled is savage and threatening. And so we were mocked and tricked and used and then slaughtered. Odin and his tribe were barred from our realm, but it was not enough. The wrath of Thor and his terrible hammer have tinned our number in Midgard to the brink of ruin. There is no option to it but to withdraw while yet any life to do so. Odin and Thor would have killed all the giants if they could, and they got away with everything. Weird focus on the word all there. What's that? Where are they now? The giants came back home so they could survive. But I'm not sure they did. But no, why would they have made these statues if they didn't make it here? This is... This is weird. Because that just describes what happens, so they at least a few of them must have gotten back here. Huh. Who's the guardian? The guardian? We still don't know what happened to Tyr, by the way. There's a lot of things we still don't know. We haven't seen Odin even. Or Thor. There we go, new lore found. We foresee Midgard's fate overrun a second hell. Neither Odin nor his dead may reach Jotunheim. The ways must be shut. The serpent and the guardian remained. They alone shall keep our hope. When doom befalls the, the, the indestructible, only then shall the guardian return. Until then we await a better world. One without fear, without greed, without war. We wait for deliverance and justice. We wait for a champion. We will wait for word that gods grow good. 
Hope that the world gets here soon. So we steer the Guardian then. But yeah, the fact that they're talking... We, we, we talked about that, right? So the, the, um, the Valkyries were corrupted, which caused them not to kill the dead in hell again. I don't. This place is dead. Yeah, that's not good. What happened to them? Why did Mom send us here? One question is answered and two more take its place. Indeed. And we're nearing the end of the game, which is kind of weird. Um, so yeah, the, the, the dead were starting to overflow hell and starting to drip into Midgard. That's why we started encountering those, uh, those hell reavers and, uh, and hell walkers all over the place. Okay. A hole in the wall. Subtly blocking our view from whatever is outside. Oh! Wait! Father! Something's happening! Or is Atreus the Guardian? Wait, that axe. It's your axe. That's Faye. It's Muller. Look. What the freaking? She's arguing with a bunch of giants. Fuck. Sorry she... for the swearing. New giants? She was one. It's us. What? The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder. But that just happened. What? How the Wait. hell? They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. Indeed. But You're the guardian. What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. <laughs> Faye was a giant, probably, then. I didn't know. She was a giant. Yeah. So that means that you're one as well, technically. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. But why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Kind of makes was never sense. Sent to fight me. Yeah. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. Yeah. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. That explains Whatever it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. I think they're all dead. Yes. Yes, we are. And that's Kratos dead. But something that that was weird. There was something go coming out of Atreus's mouth there. So that kind of makes sense. So if because we always went under the assumption that. The um, the Aesir were after Kratos because Kratos knew how to travel between realms and therefore travel to Jotunheim so they could kill all the giants. But if we're right and the giants are already dead and Faye was one of the only ones still alive, then the only one, the, the one Balder was looking for when he when he started banging on the wall on the walls of the the house the door oh my god that means so let me recollect here so balder knocked on the door because he wanted to find Faye because Faye is a giant and the acer want to kill all the giants so when he told he yelled through the door i know what you are he was not talking about knowing that kratos was a god 
Because if Baldur knew that Kratos was a god, then Modi and Magni would have known as well and wouldn't have been so surprised when Kratos actually killed one of them. So Baldur was looking for Fae and to kill Fae, and he just assumed that Kratos was a giant as well, until of course the revelation came that he was a god. And that's why they were after Atreus eventually as well. Because they want to kill off the last remaining giants. But let's head into here. Because I'm I'm just assuming now. But I'm thinking, Look, yeah. That all, the, that all the giants will she be dead. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Wait, what is Mother still? Watching over us. Oh, the handprint. Leading prince. us home. The handprint. Let's finish it. From the beginning of the game. On the, on the tree trunk. Okay. It's starting to make sense more and more. That's great that they turned that around, that it's not Kratos' story, but Atreus's. That is... awesome. But I feel like we're gonna get a pretty horrid sight now in a second. Here we go. Is the camera... oh yeah. Yeah. Oh god. They're all dead. Yeah, the camera's taking over. They're all gone. But how then? Father. No. We do it together. Son. What an amazing game. Goodbye, Faye. I suppose. Goodbye, Faye. I love you, Mom. The giants. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. Okay. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Oh, ha 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 ha. Okay. Loki. That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. Makes sense. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. That makes perfect sense, of course. Because Loki in Norse mythology is the son of the Frost Giants. And adopted by Odin, which makes him... Part Aesir, part Jotnar. That is Mother's Ashes. Last wish complete. Is there actually Return to Tears Temple, the journey home. Okay. So they're after Atreus, not us. Atreus is the centerpiece of this story, which is which is amazing, to be honest. Yes, it all makes sense now. Why she wanna end up here? Be with her kind, but did she know it was gonna be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did 
you want us to tell the people, or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. Okay. So they've set up a lot of things for the next king. So, why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We train from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Mm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. We I mean, missed it. <laughs> so I think... I'm not sure if that's a character in one of the previous games. If it if it is, it must have been from the second um, PSP game. Because I, I know in the second PSP game you get the, the spear and shield as a weapon. So it might be coming from that. Let's go through the gates and down the stairs again. Just gonna keep walking this time because that was a problem uh, a few minutes ago. Because that, that was a great twist. That was a great twist. Because that kind of also explains the moment we got the, the black runestone. It didn't react when Kratos used it, but, but it did when Atreus did because he's a giant. That's part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. So, Loki, the gold of lies. So, I was uh, kind of wrong on that accord. Kind of speculated that Mimir was gonna be Loki. But no, it makes perfect sense now that Atreus is Loki. Why? Lads, am I glad to see you? I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. Why are you on the floor? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? Uh oh. How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? Okay. We just got the end credits, guys. Okay, continue exploring complete dwarven favors. Done. Free dragons. Done. Travel to Muspelheim and Niflheim. Done and done. Find new items in the shop to get powerful equipment that will allow you to defeat all legendary corrupt the Valkyries also done new game plus allows you to start a new game so that's been added literally for me yesterday so it allows you to start a new game while maintaining your equipment XP hack silver and purchased items new game plus can be accessed anytime from within the game's option menus and I'm gonna do that pretty much straight away after we're uh, done with this I'm just gonna head back to the shop so we're gonna head back to Midgard to see if there's anything else but I think this will be it because um, we've done pretty much everything in the game right now and uh, I think I'm gonna just head into uh, New Game Plus after this But first, Midgard Before we return to Midgard, I should warn you More time has passed than you want to realize The snowball that began when you snowballed up It's become something else The stuff of omens Omens? For the coming of winter not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, Sagnum. Ragnarok. From snow. Aye, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. On me or on the... Uh... The little bugger over there, because he's uh, the stuff of prophecies. So yeah, does that mean that the world has effectively changed? 
Does it look visually different now? I'm telling you, it's Fimbleweb. I can feel it in my scrot. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of the reason. Guys, just discussing the weather. Been yeah. a whole snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winners upon us, boys. The winner to end all winners. I can feel it in my throat. Y yeah. We... We heard. So, if you're heading home, try to keep moving. And also, to not die. Or if you're not heading home, same advice. Okay. They do point me towards home, which is actually a good idea. I'll do that. I'll, I'll probably finish the series over there. Um, okay, that was less of an impact than I thought it was going to be. Because, yeah, this is just... It snows a little bit, but it doesn't seem like anything else has changed. It's just snowing now. Okay, then to end this series, I'm gonna take one final trip and uh, end the series where it all began. So, uh, see you guys in a second. Oh man, the tower ate the Unity Stone, didn't it? I wanted to fly again. Yes, that's a terrible pity. You Brothers, would die there's now. another thing I must let you know from the time you were away in Jotunheim. Okay. Well, tell us then. It concerns Freya. She paid me a visit. What did you tell her? What little I know about where Odin may have kept her Valkyrie wings. Seems she's rather bent on reclaiming her warrior spirit. I'm afraid the cycle of vengeance may not be so easily broken. Okay. That is... Yeah, hinting of what's to come, probably. But another thing that I did, did want to talk about... Um, we saw... Freya's sword, I think it was for the first time, because I don't think she was carrying it in her hut. And it had pretty much the same pommel as the Valkyrie Blades pommel I have equipped right now, which was a, a nice touch. You can say, see the same elements of the Valkyries in those things, but... Here we are. I think it was always snowing in here, right? Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Okay then, hey Mir. Take it easy, buddy. Don't know if I can actually enter the house. That'd be a nice way of uh just old memories. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Oh wow, we can actually just access the bed. Well, um I'll guess I guess that's it then. For uh Gold of War. It's been one hell of a ride, an amazing game. I mean it's... I don't think I'm over overstating this, but this is Aren't one of the tired? best games I've played ever. This is this is an amazing game. I've, I've really been hooked on the combat, uh, just doing Muspelheim and Niflheim over and over and over, just because I like the combat system. The story was amazing. The character is amazing. The, the visuals, just breathtaking. The big set pieces, even though it's rather smaller in scale than God of War 3 and even God of War Ascension, it's, uh, it, it did manage to get in a really, really nice set pieces, but uh, yeah, I'm guessing this is going to be the end. So thank you guys enormously for watching, and uh, I think Kratos and Atreus have earned a, a very nice rest. So uh, let's just approach the bed and lay down. Okay, this will do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. Oh, this is not over. What? 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 Are you shitting me? Um. Okay. There goes my nice farewell. What? Oh, hello. Hello, toy. Yep. Fuck yes. Okay, that's a nice teaser ending. Okay. 
Well, if you skipped out before that, <laughs> you missed that. Holy crap. That was awesome. Okay, I did not expect it because I was ready to just end it there, but that was awesome. Was that the scene that you get because I did everything else? Because that just went to years later immediately. That was awesome. I have goosebumps right now. So yeah, um, my plans with this game is I definitely want to try out New Game Plus. Because I've seen new armor sets, the enemies have new uh, tactics. But I don't think it will be uh, enough to be a proper series. So I'm just going to stream this. And if the demand is high enough, because I'm going to do New Game Plus on Give Me God of War. So the highest difficulty level. Um, if the comment section, please put down in the comment section if you want me to do... Uh, to put the stream out as videos as well. I'm not gonna do much editing and it will not always be uh, commentated as fully and not edited down of course. But uh, if you wanna see me do Give Me God of War on New Game Plus, you can uh, check that out over there if you want me to. So please let me know in the comments if you want to see that over there. Otherwise, I'll just not bother and just do the streams as I want it. And I'll stream it right here on YouTube. So with that done, I'm gonna say my proper goodbyes this time. So thank you guys enormously for watching and for the support along this series because I've gotten uh, a few nice tips and uh, along the way which really helped me out with uh, the playthrough. So thanks again enormously for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video or series. Goodbye! Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but... I had the weirdest dream. Fimble winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like... the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. Yes, let's go.